I promise by the end of this video, you're going to see falling off your horse in a completely different light. I was blowing out my backside. I was jiggling with every stride. There must have been something in the air because kids were flying off left, right and center. I actively encouraged him to face his fear, to carry on and to move forward. You do fall off your horse from now on. You see it as a superpower. I want to start the podcast by talking to you about what we did on the weekend. We were at a pony club jumping lesson, Go Pony Club, and I was uh, leading my five-year-old son, who's called Lincoln, on a pony called Rooney. And for all those people out there who are thinking, Aaron, you don't look like the type of guy who could actually run around a horse arena for very long, let alone get over any horse jumps, to all those people, I have to say, you're 100% correct. I was blowing out my backside. I was jiggling with every stride. <laughs> but 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 we had a we had a really really great time and um yeah, fun fun lesson and whatnot. But something did happen in the lesson that I want to talk to you about. So about halfway through the lesson, Rooney Link and I were ever so elegantly trotting towards uh, one of the jumps and I think Rooney thought the jump was a lot higher than it actually was. In reality, it was just two poles on the floor, but we didn't tell him that. Uh, and Rooney um, exaggerated his jump quite significantly, which uh, took Link by surprise. I mean, we got over the jump and Link sat to it really, really well, actually. And, um, you know, he, he was fine. But when we got over the jump, you know, he started crying because, you know, it took him by surprise. And my reaction to him was, you know, don't worry, you're fine. You, you got over the jump, you're fine. Let, let's carry on, let's go. Let's, let's, let's do the next one. Afterwards, I was thinking my reaction to him, because he was on a horse, was very different to my reaction to him if he was off a horse. So let's say, for example, he was off the horse and he got scared by a spider or a ghost or something like that. You know, I would cuddle him, you know, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll, you know, come away and we'll, whatever it is, you know, I'll take him away from the situation uh, that's scaring him. But in this situation, I actively encouraged him to face his fear, to carry on and to move forward. Now, when Rooney did this jump, Link had no choice in the matter. I had no choice in the matter. You know, that Rooney's doing this and, and that's it. You guys are coming along for the ride. And I think one of the reasons why Link got so scared was because, you know, he was facing a fear. He was entering like a fear zone or whatever you want to call it. But he now knows that if he jumps that high, he can do it and get over it, you know, with no problem. So in a weird way, Rooney making that decision to go over the jump so high has actually improved Link's riding. It was a really interesting thought because, again, horses in those sort of situations, and I know they spook and whatnot, but they can put you in situations that you aren't comfortable with. To me, it's the same as, like, with roller coasters or, or, or you know, the first time you went on a roller coaster, it probably wasn't the most enjoyable experience. But if you go on a roller coaster now you're probably enjoying it a hell of a lot more. And I think it's the same with, with what happened with Link. You know, if Link now goes over a jump that high, okay, maybe not the second time or the third time, but the fourth time, he may start actually enjoying it. And I think it's amazing because the horse, Rooney, has made Link face a fear that he wasn't ready for, but then he's come through it. It was just really interesting to me because when you are in an uncomfortable situation or doing something that you're scared of, that's when you grow and that's when you improve as a person and you make progress. If you don't ever venture outside your comfort zone, you don't really grow as a person. You don't really learn too much. And in that moment, when Rooney decided to jump over, Link had no choice. He's, he's getting outside of his comfort zone, which in turn 
has made progress for him. Now, obviously, it wasn't just the fear that was you know, scary for him. It was the, you know, the the chance that he might fall off the horse, which obviously is one of the biggest worries when you, you're riding, is that, you know, if I fall off the horse and I, and, I, and, I, and I injure myself, you know, I don't want to do that. But just, just going off on a tangent, we were at another Pony Club event, a Mounted Games event, and there must have been something in the air because kids were flying off left, right, and center, you know, they were, and they were hitting the floor hard, you know, and luckily none of them were, that were injured or anything like that. But every single one of those kids, you know, these kids range from as young as four years old to, I think, I think 21 is the highest uh, age, but I think, I think the kids in that, in that class were probably about six or eight, something like that. But every single one of them, without encouragement, got up off their own back and got back on that horse. And obviously Link, when he got that scared, he was scared he was going to fall off, but Link has fallen off in the past and we've encouraged him to get back on. And he has done. Okay, he didn't want to do it and he was a bit scared afterwards, but after he'd been trotting around a little bit, he forgot about it. But I think it's a really, really good indicator if you if you have been riding for a very long time obviously there's a lot of indicators to see if someone's been riding a long time but a good one is is how they re actually react when they fall off because most horse riders get back up and they get back on obviously if they've got a broken you know leg or whatever it is yeah don't go back on your horse and i'm sure there's some people out there who have probably actually ridden with a broken leg or whatever but doing that sort of process and learning that from a young age. I mean, these kids at the Pony Club showed such grit and determination and the hard, your hardness of, I am not letting this get me. Yeah, something's happened which isn't my fault, i.e., okay, it might have been their fault, but i.e., the, the horse is spooked for whatever reason, it happens. But they've gone, no, I'm getting back on and I'm doing what I love. And again, for me, the the lessons that this teaches, you know, the facing your fear, you know, Link had no choice but to face his fear. It's made him a better rider. The falling off aspect, riders fall off every single day. And they all, well, they learn to get back up and back up on that horse. And I can't think of any better lessons to take you through life. You know, if something bad happens to you and bad things happen to everybody, I get it. You know, but you sometimes you've got to have that grit and determination to pick yourself up, dust off and go again. And I think horse riding teaches that. And again, I think it's a, one of the most valuable lessons that you can learn. But yeah, it was just an interesting uh, one for me because... Again, it's the it's the the horse world which is setting my kids up to be the type of people that 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 no matter what life throws at them, they can get through it. And I think some people sometimes don't have that capability through no fault of their own. But being around the horses and riding really sets you up for life and to deal with the hardships of it because sometimes the world is a, a really nasty place but if you can keep going and get up when it does knock you down i don't think you'll you'll <laughs> you'll ever do too badly but anyway yeah, just thought I'd uh, bring that to light and uh, tell you all about it because I, I, I found it quite inspiring myself. And uh, I hope you guys all, all find it inspiring as well. And actually, for all the horse riders out there, for you to actually realise how special horse riding actually is and how special horse riders actually are. Who knows, maybe one day um, I'll, I'll be jumping on a horse I probably need to lose a little bit of weight in order to do that. But, but maybe one day I will as well, you know. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for listening. And um, 
any improvements or anything like that, please leave in the comments. The uh, the messages and, and comments I've been getting over the past two weeks with the previous episodes have been phenomenal. Uh, so, so nice. But just remember, if you do fall off your horse from now on, see it as a superpower. See it as a, I'm going to get up and I'm going again. Don't see it as something negative. See it as something positive that you can then apply to the rest of your life. Anyway, thanks a lot.